kwa heshima na tawadhima na kwa ruhusa yako naomba nimkaribishe naibu wa inspector general kitengo cha askari tawala bwana nur waigabo aweze kuzungumza machache na kuendeleza ratiba karibu sana the governor of kitui the commissioners from the national service commission the inspector general senior officers who are present and commanders your excellency on my behalf and, and that of the administration police service we welcome you to the border police headquarters unit here at kanyonyo and the border police headquarters uh, the border police campus your excellency this is where we train our men and, un and women who have made a difference in the border management of this country we closely work with our kdf our immigration and our other sister service along the border your excellency we as the national police today as you have toured the, the, the airstrip this is an airstrip where these officers have started and we have partnered with nys and the kitui county your excellency this airstrip is a 40 percent complete and we are requesting our gov your government if they will be able to complete also your excellency the the stadium you have seen we have seen majority of officers who are injured in line of duty we wanted to have a, a, a stadium and and therefore our officers their skills their welfare kitty they were able to think about a vision of having a stadium your excellency you have seen for yourself and we are requesting the ministry of sport to complete that uh, uh, sport complex your excellency it will be viable for kitui county it will be it will be used by the national police service and it will be one of the uh, in this area whereby we shall have a stadium your excellency today we are happy that you have opened the hostel this border police hostel came into a vision to these officers since independent the police didn't had any hostel therefore we are just using our private hostel and sometimes it's, it's hard when officers are injured after they have been discharged from the private hostel we usually take them back to their villages and uh, what we have seen we have thought of having our own hostel and this is the hostel where these officers with their with their skills with their manpower with their kitty they are able to have a, a, a hostel of this nature the government was able to equip that hostel with an art of equipment and today we are very happy as a national police service as an administration police service that we have hostel we can call home and where our officers who are, uh, are coming for rehabilitation they will be able to be taken your excellency one thing we're asking for this hostel is phase two to be completed the phase two of the hostel and also we are, we are asking if a wellness center can be constructed in in this area a wellness center will be a plus for us a, a rehabilitation center will be a plus for us and this will be a plus for the old national police service also your excellency we have partners the u.s government has donated a mobile hostel a 60 bed hostel this hostel we were able to take it to lamu where we have we were able to treat with the lamu county 3,000 patients we are also able we have also partnered with kitui county where we are able to treat last year over two thousand patients therefore we have a plan to take this hostel to some of the areas where we are, our officers are and our, our camps are in order to win the heart and mind of our communities your excellency ours is to thank you in, in your leadership and uh, in your focus to improve the welfare of the police officers thank you your excellency and at this juncture may i call upon the inspector general to continue with the rest of the program the inspector general sir. Mwashimewa Daktari William Samoy Eruto, the President of our beautiful country, Republic of Kenya. Um, wageni wengi ambao wako na sisi, sita wataja wote, mawaziri wako hapa, wameongoza na waziri wetu, Professor Kendeke, mangavana wako hapa, Um, Governor wa Jimbo la Kitui, Governor wa Jimbo la Narok, uh, Permanent Secretaries kadhaa wako hapa. Uh, um, nyote karibu sana, uh, fellow police officers, Mheshimiwa Rais, mtaanza na kukushukuru sana kwa kupata nafasi ya 
kuja kuketi na hawa wana is, is, is a matter we cannot take for granted. We know how busy you are. Tuajua banda ya hapa huko na mkutano mwingine mkubwa kule Nairobi. Lakini ulikubali kuja hapa Kitui County, Kanyonyo, a police facility. Um, Your Excellency, wakati wote unapata nafasi ya kuketi na maofisa wenzangu wa kikosi cha polisi. It is always a moral booster. We have officers, as you are aware, deployed in very difficult areas. Lakini wakisikia umeotembelea vile huko na sisi hapa, that gives us energy to discharge our mandates. Your Excellency, umetueleza sisi kama service commanders mamba ya welfare, ya welfare ya wa officer. And we always encouraged by the commitment we see in you, especially mambo ya afya. Nijusi tu, umekubali tumepata eh, cover ya sisi zote wana polisi. Um, leo umekubali kufungua hospitali, the first police hospital. Your Excellency, this is the first police hospital. Ambai kona vitanda um, mia moja na theradhini. Tuko na nyingine kule, Nairobi mbagadhi ya vitanda mia moja na msini. Your Excellency, tumekueleza, tumekutajia kila wakati, Issues to do with health is dear to the officers. Because by virtue of what we do, our profession, eh, tunapata tuna maumivu. Kwa hivyo, tukiwa na facility kama hii umefungua leo, ambaye itatundumia, itatundumia familia zetu. Um, we feel motivated as members of the National Police Service. Your Excellency, as I conclude, mine is to assure you, as the command of the National Police Service, I have patriotic officers. I have officers who love their country. You've seen the display they presented to you this morning. The officers who have the energy, officers who are able to provide security to our people. That is a mandate. We are going to discharge as a service without fear or favor. Na we mwenye umetueleza tutuwa na ubaguzi. We treat kila mwana inchi equally. Kama ni mkubwa ama mdrogo, lazima apate service ya serikali ambao walichagua wenyewe. Kwa hivyo, Your Excellency, sisi tutarumia inchi hii bila woga na kukujitolea na kupenda inchi iji yetu. Your Excellency, kwa sawi ya muda, ni rusu, sasa ni mwalike waziri wetu, eh, Professor Kedure Kindiki, eh, you're welcome, sir. Mishimiwa Dr. William Ruto, Rais wa Jamuri ya Kenya, na amri jeshi wa vikosi vietu vya ulinzi, Wageni wote ambao wako hapa, mwishima rais kwa sababu, baada ya otuba yangu hii fupi, utatuongelesha, ni kubalie, ni taje, maofisa wakubwa wa serikali ambao wako hapa kwa majina, na tunawashukuru kwa sababu wamepata muda kuwa hapa na sisi siku ya leo. Mwishima rais, tuko na waziri wa mambo ya utalii, wanyama pori na mambo ya heritage ama turathi za kitaifa mheshimiwa Penina Malonza tuko na gavana wa Jimbo la Kitui mstahiki gavana Julius Malombe tuko na mwenzake gavana wa Narok mstahiki Mwishmua raisa watu wa sinema wananiaribia kazi. 
Sababu <laughs> sasa nimesimama mbele yako. Mheshimiwa Rais, tuko na Gavana wa Narok, Honorable Patrick Ntutu. Karibu sana Gavana. Tuko na makatibu wa Wizara wakiongozwa na katibu wa Usalama wa Ndani na Utawala wa Nchi, Dr. Raymond Omolo. Tuko na katibu wa kudumu katika Wizara ya Afya, bwana Tum, ako hapa. Vile vile Mheshimiwa Rais, tuko na uliyetaua kama accounting officer wa National Police Service eh, Banis Yalal. Mheshimiwa Rais pia tuko na PS eh, nimesahau PS wa Sports ako hapa Jonathan Mweke. Tuko na mwenyekiti wa tume huru ya huduma ya polisi National Police Service Commission Kinudhi wa Mwangi. Tuko na chairman wa kamati ya bunge ambao wanatusaidia kupata rasilimali katika idara hii yetu ya polisi um, the chair of the parliamentary committee on administration and internal affairs the honorable gabriel tongoyo who is also the member of parliament for narok west mheshimiwa rais tuko na maofisa wengine wote wakiongozwa na ig kutoka idara ya polisi welcome and god bless you thank you for coming Mheshimiwa Rais ni ruhusu niseme mambo yafuatayo kwa njia ya ufupi. Sisi kama Wizara ya Usalama wa Nchi na Utawala wa Taifa tuko na furaha kwa sababu umetupatia ile usaidizi na mwongozo ambao tumetafuta kwako kama kiongozi wa taifa letu na tunakushukuru umepata muda uh, kuja kuwa nasi hapa leo. Uh, tunajua majukumu yako ni mengi na mahitaji ni mengi uh, idara nyingi na taasisi za taifa zetu letu la Kenya zinakuhitaji we thank you your excellency for gracing this occasion and for supporting us in the ministry of interior and national administration as um, our president and commander in chief mshimo rais kitu ya pili hospitali ambao umeifungua leo ni hospitali ambayo imejengwa kwa uh, takriban shilingi milioni moja ambayo ni mchango wa ile kiti ya maofisa wetu welfare kiti ya maofisa wetu and i really want to thank them for the contribution of uh, this facility na vile vile serikali imetusaidia na equipment ya about 250 million ambao umeona we mwenyewe we still need a few more equipment but we think we are almost there and this hospital will go a long way in supporting our operations as you are aware your excellency sir this facility here the kanyonyo a border police uh, campus and training center is supporting the operations that we have in the northern part of kenya mainly a border patrol and surveillance and also the officers who are helping us with uh, counter terrorism measures and also finally the officers increasingly now whom you have deployed to assist us to deal with the problem of banditry in north uh, northern rift valley so this is a very critical facility you have seen for yourself the energy commitment and intellectual prowess of our young men and women in uniform who have sacrificed a lot to deal with very complex security challenges that are facing most parts of our country especially in the north kwa hivyo your excellency we will uh, request you to give us a little more support and already you have already indicated you'll be supporting us and uh, and therefore I will not want to preempt you but your excellency as uh, the the command of the national police service has said we will be happy if the airstrip is completed and also the stadium and uh, you will guide us on how we can have those facilities completed and will be very much uh, uh, grateful the third issue your excellency is much of the training that comes uh, that takes place here is the training um, uh, is training uh, of the formed units and for me as your minister i believe the future 
of our country in tackling complex security challenges lies in our enhancement of the capacity of the specialized elite formed units within the National Police Service who have done a fantastic job in very difficult circumstances to make sure that we keep terrorism at bay and to deal with other international crimes as well as uh, now going forward banditry. And therefore, I believe that uh, this is where the future lies in enhancing our capacity in the farmed units. Your Excellency, finally, I want to also request you uh, to support us with the police modernization uh, program. And uh, as you are aware, we have a bit of capabilities, but with a little more support, we are able to deliver even greater services to the people of Kenya. Your Excellency, we assure you of our professionalism within the National Police Service and other disciplined uh, agencies within this ministry. And um, as you are aware, Your Excellency, again, besides this hospital, we have two other medical facilities that are almost complete. The one is the National Police Hospital in Bagavi, and the other one is the Kenya Prison Hospital in Roiro. When these medical facilities are complete, they'll go in a long way in boosting the morale of our officers, making them feel appreciated, and being treated in an environment that does not uh, disturb uh, the, the rest of the public, because some of the injuries that our officers get are quite uh, serious injuries, and we would want to cushion them from, from, um, uh, you know, uh, from being able to destabilize the other medical facilities where every other person, uh, a patient is taken to. Kwa hivyo mwishmua rais, tunakushukuru, tunakupenda na asante sana kwa sababu umetuunga mkono, tunauliza tu, uendelea kutusaidia, kututaftia rasilimali za kuongeza eh, mambo ya vifaa vietu, na hao maofisa kama umeona, ni maofisa wazuri, wako na nithamu, wako na ujuzi, na ile wanaitaji tu ni msaada kidogo ya kuboresha vifaa, aswa vifaa vya angani, ambavyo vita tayarisha uh, saidia mambo ya vifaa, ambavyo wanatumia wakiwardhini. Kwa hayo mengi, naomba tusimame, tumuamlike rais wa jamuri ya Kenya. Aya, governor, mwishmua rais ya mesema ukuja usalamiane kwa niyabe ya susu. Unajua mwishmua rais usipotua hiyo oda, I cannot do it. This is a very constrained environment and uh, that's how we work. Lakini raisi ya mesema, governor salamiane kwa niyabe ya community. Karibu your excellency, governor. Karibu governor. Your excellency, the president wa jamuri yetu ya Kenya Mheshimiwa Dr. William Samoe Harap Ruto, my colleague Governor, Governor in Tutu, Wanaro County, CS wa Interior National Government, Wanakindiki, my former colleague and CS wa Tourism, Heritage and Wildlife, Penina Malonza, PSC Yambao Wakoapa, the Inspector General of Police, and the Deputy Inspector Generals of Police, Madaktari Ambao Wanaudumu Kwa Police Pia Ambao Walitu Onyesha Iki Hospitali Mabibi na Mabwana Yangu ni Machache. Kama Governor Aliechaguliwa hii county, nataka kuchukua nafasi hii ni mkaribishe raisi wetu hapa kitui. Kwa sababu hapa tuko ni kitui county. Watu wa kitui walipeana 300 hectares here initially na wakaongeza another 5,300 hectares. And courtesy of that, uh, mambo ya naendelea. Nataka ni mshukuru pia eh, Deputy Haiji Nua Gabo kwa sababu alinialika hapa a few months after I was sworn in as a 
pioneer governor wa Kitui County mwaka wa 2013 kulikuwa na maafisa ambao wamemaliza kosi yao na akaniambia nije tuwe pamoja na nilikuja wakati huo hii facility ilikuwa ndogo lakini sasa naona imeshapanuka na hii ni kitu mzuri sana two or three of the facilities which are being developed here your excellency the hospital which is part of the health sector is a devolved function uh, mambo ya sports we can say is a concurrent function in the sense they are parts which are supposed to be performed by the national government and other parts by the county government na kwa hivyo kushirikiana kuifanya hiyo kazi itakuwa muhimu sana na kwa hivyo nataka kukuhakikishia uh, where collaboration is required and i thank mr gabo when he said wana hii mobile uh, facility ambayo ilienda lamu na ikaja kitui kitui katibu watu 2000 hiyo ndiyo inatakikana in our country where even if you are the uh, disciplined forces na hapo nyumani and i am talking about the past we don't want to stay fixated in the past we want to ask ourselves now to naenda mbele what do we do differently what we do differently to kienda mbele even if you are disciplined forces and you are located in a place like this please try as much as you can to work with the community to be friendly with the community na nataka kukuhakikisha rais EAP border patrol unit inafanya na inaishi vizuri sana na watu wetu mimi nina ushuhuda ile inaitwa uh, ile inaitwa testimony kwa sababu wakati nilipochaguliwa nilikuwa natembea hapa kutoka pande ya Kitui kwenda Mwingi Mwingi this is the main way you go to Mwingi from Kitui town where the county headquarters are na wakati nilishindwa kura ama to put it more correctly when I was not announced the winner. <laughs> na mtu mwingine akaingia. Nilikuwa ninapita hapa kwenda kuomba kura. And what I witnessed from the officers who are here patrol unit is nothing but professionalism. Walikuwa wanasimamisha magari na from their training because they are trained even to sniff where there could be possibilities of insecurity wanatoa watu kwa magari na wanatoa kwa heshima na watu wanaambiwa vukeni where the uh, pale wameenzeka vitu vya kuzuia watu kupita na wanaenda mbele na gari inakaguliwa hata wao wanatoka bila mizigo yao na wanaenda mbele gari inakaguliwa kabisa na hiyo ni muhimu kwa sababu wanatutunza sisi tusiwe kwa hatari na hata mimi nilikuwa nimeambiwa nimeambia madereva wangu security wangu tukifika hapo tukisimamishwa tusimame mfungue vio na mujibu maswali kwa heshima and the officers were very professional they will ask us uh, good morning or good afternoon mnaenda wapi ama mnatoka wapi uh, and then they talk nicely and ask us questions which are designed to ensure security is maintained kwa hivyo allow me your excellency the president in front of you ni sema these are professional officers wamesaidia sana you know a lot of us who live we do, don't realize why we have uh, had things peaceful is because partly of what they do here and nataka hata mimi kushukua nafasi hii ni washukuru 
shukurani kubwa kwangu kutoka kwangu muendelee hivyo hivyo na tusiangalie nyuma e, rais wetu wewe ni mtu wa kazi leo najua una another function where all the 47 governors we are supposed to be i was supposed to be on that side but kwa sababu ile heshima ambayo tunapeana sisi magavana na rais wetu na deputy wake tumesema rais akiwa kwako county kwako na we ni governor please all the other things become secondary kwa hivyo hiyo nilisema iwe secondary niwe hapa ni kukaribishe na tukitoka hapa tutaenda na wewe asante sana uh, 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 metitu ole kato kwa sababu hiyo ameshikanisha vile hiyo itafanyika tutaenda na wewe baka niwe kule magava na wenzio watakuwa na nadhani eh, ndugu yangu ole ntutu pia tutakuwa na yeye na kwa hayo machache because sasa ni mimi nitakualika si kindiki. Wajua kindiki alikuwa senator. Ah <laughs> uh, na nadhani kwa sababu walikuwa wanaita magavana to grill them. <laughs> Ajui when governor are elected and they are in the account. Uh, uweze kutaja majina lao peke yao lazima waite wao wenyewe wakaribishe rais hata ikiwa ni sherehe ya ina gani kwa hivyo hebu nichukue nafasi hii ni mkaribishe rais wetu tafadhali tusimame tumkaribishe vizuri karibu rais karibu thank you thank you governor asante sana mheshimiwa governor tafadhali tuketi asanteni sana <coughs> Mheshimiwa governor wetu wa hapa Kitui, waheshimiwa mawaziri, eh, inspector general wetu wa polisi na DIGs na officers wengine wote, makatibu na officers wetu wa hapa Kanyonyo Hamjambo. Eh, kwanza mimi nataka nimshukuru Mungu kwa kutupatia nafasi tuweze kufika hapa siku ya leo. Um, ni wapongeze kwa yale mambo mazuri ambayo tumeona hapa Kanyonyo pia ni shukuru wananchi wa kaunti yetu ya Kitui kwa heshima mliotupatia na hasa mliopatia jeshi letu la polisi mkatoa ardhi ili tuweze kujenga institution hii ya training na tukapata vile vile mahali pa hospitali na mambo yale mengine tuko pia na air, air strip hapa tuko na stadium mimi nataka niwaambie watu wote wa Kitui asante sana on behalf of the government of Kenya i want to truly appreciate the partnership and the relationship between the people of Kitui and our security agencies. And we have assembled here today to mark a tremendous milestone in the in transformation of the Kenya National Police Service. We are, also, we are all used to the service motto, Utumishi Kwa Wote, which has been the yardstick of our expectation for six decades from our policemen and women. We always evaluate the performance of the police in terms of the extent to which citizens' expectations have been met and the degree of their bravery, selflessness, gallantry, integrity, and responsiveness shown by its members. It has been generally accepted in the past that the police service must perform to the highest standards under the greatest hardship and this has fostered a high expectations mindset complemented by a philosophy of neglect. The difficulty experienced by members of the police force in delivering to these high standards has always been attributed to rampant corruption and a runaway culture of impunity. 
But I dare say that those days are firmly in the past and that, and that improvident ideology has been retired. The government fully recognizes the National Police Service as a critical institution that is indispensable to peace, security, law and order, which in turn are necessary conditions for all human endeavor, including the pursuit of sustainable development and shared prosperity. Our police men and women are front and center in ensuring that we have shared prosperity. For this reason, the government recognizes that for the police service to live up to its constitutional mandate, it must be adequately facilitated through sufficient resources and other forms of support. This support entails recognizing that the National Police Service is made up of individual professionals with basic human rights who are entitled to motivation, guidance, training, and education as well as health and psycho psychological support in order to attain the highest standards of professionalism and discipline expected of them. In fact, the National Police Service is obligated under the Constitution to train officers to the highest possible standards of competence and integrity and to respect human rights and fundamental freedoms and dignity. It is also mandated to foster and promote relationships with the broader society. It is clear, therefore, that our high expectations of members of the police service must be accompanied by adequate facilitation to enable them to perform to those high standards that we expect of them. In recognition of this recipro reciprocal obligation, the government of Kenya is committed to guarantee the institutional independence of the service by making sure they have financial autonomy. That is why I ensured that the Inspector General of Police is designated as the accounting officer to ensure that resources meant for our police service are spent in the manner in which our police service want resources spent. The government has also invested in a comprehensive medical cover to, to cover the provision of high quality medical services to members and their families. The services extended to, uh, to the provision of mental health services accompany that medical insurance scheme. In addition, I recently presided over the inauguration of the National Police Leadership Academy, which will inculcate the highest standards of integrity, transparency, and accountability, respect for fundamental rights and freedoms, and the observance of the highest constitutional standards. The government is also invested or investing in the National Forensic Laboratory to enable specialist detectives solve complex investigations and support prosecution with strong scientific evidence. As I speak to you, the Police and Prison Service Reforms Task Force is busy at work, interrogating a broad range of issues affecting service delivery, including the terms and conditions of service of officers. Even as we even as we make progress in enhancing our support for members of the service, we are also waiting to implement recommendations of the task force to take the police service, men and women, to the next level. I am highly encouraged that I have seen, with what I have seen on my tour of the facilities completed and those under development. They are magnificent symbols of Kenya's commitment over police service over our times that is professional and that is adequately empowered to give Kenyans the best service. The Border Police Training Campus, Kanyonyo, is a diverse infrastructural complex 
and a fine testimony of our aspirations to enhance peace, security, law and order by providing members with the best facilities to unlock their highest level of professional uh, performance for the benefit of the people you serve. When I saw what the men and women in this campus go through, it gave me a lot of confidence that the future of our country is in safe hands. And this continuous training of our special units is going to guarantee what the police service constitutionally is mandated to do for our country. I want to commit that going into the future, we will continuously enhance resources available to continuously professionalize, train, and equip our security officers to ensure that they secure the lives, property, and interests, and the prosperity of our nation. Let me also say that I have already asked the Minister for Interior to work with the IG of the police on a modernization program that is going to see the government of Kenya spend an extra 20 billion shillings to, in, to improve both land and air facilities and equipment for our police service to be able to deliver on their mandate. The Border Police Hospital, a 130 bed level four facility will offer specialized medical services, including critical care to police officers, their families. And I want also to confirm here to the people of Kitui that this facility will also be available for the community in this area of Kanyonyo. And we are going to have a conversation with the governor and the county government of Kitui on how we are going to structure the relationship so that this facility can equally benefit the community here in Kitui. I also want to say all the other facilities, including the airport and the stadium that we are building, are available for, the, for use by the community here and the people of Kitui County, alongside all the other Kenyans that may want to use these facilities. Let me also confirm here that the government of Kenya is going to complete the airstrip that we are building here. I know you have painstakingly taken time, spent resources with a lot of hard work. And I want to confirm to you that the Ministry of Transport will take over that facility and make, make it ready for use by both this facility and the people of Kitui County. Let me also confirm that the stadium, and I have given my feedback to the engineer who was designing the stadium, is all equally going, we are going to take it over, the Ministry of Sports and, and uh, Youth are going to take over and complete the stadium here, again, for use by our officers in this facility, but also by the community here in Kanyonyo and Kitui County. I, uh, the, the, the PS for Ministry of Sports is here, Mr. Jonathan Mweke. Um, I expect that uh, you, will pre you will give proper guidance on how to develop that stadium, give them professional advice, and provide the resources for the completion of that facility. I also want to confirm that uh, going through this hospital, I see that there is a lot of um, infrastructure that is still required. There is a lot of design that needs to be corrected. And the Ministry of Health is going to work with the IG and the DIG to make sure that every correction that needs to be made is made. And all the other facilities, including equipment that are not here, we will provide as the government of Kenya. I was very pleasantly surprised 
when the DIG told me that the construction of this hospital was done by money collected on the welfare scheme of officers in the police force. I want to say to all the officers who contribute, I am told 50 shillings, and it is a confirmation of what 50 shillings can do. It is, it, it is quite a, a learning curve that 50 shillings can build a 100 million shilling hospital. Nilikuwa nasikia watu wengine wakisema ya kwamba shilingi miatano, elifu moja, elifu mbili, elifu tano, inapatiano kwa hasla fani pesa kidoku. Mimi nataka sasa ni waulize, kama wakipata na fasi, wakuje hapa kanyonyo, waone hospitali ya shilingi milioni miamoja, imejengwa na shilingi ya msini. I think they might, they might revise their thinking, and they might know what it means to pull together. From time to time, police officers have had to endure the risk of fatal and sometimes life-threatening injury as well as highly stressful and traumatic conditions in the, course, in the course of serving and protecting us. This hospital demonstrates that we have come of age and are willing to acknowledge and embrace and take measures to rehabilitate those affected by post-traumatic stress disorder as well as combat trauma. The Kanyonyo Sports Complex, which is still under construction, represents our commitment to the holistic health and well-being of members by providing leisure and recreation facilities which not only enhance physical fitness, but nurtures athletic and sporting talent while also giving positive psychological intervention. It is therefore important, with the support of the Government of Kenya, that the Inspector General considers ways and means of actualizing the promise of this complex by ensuring that the service employs sufficient specialist medical professionals. Nimeona ya kwamba hapa muko na daktari mmoja na health workers wengine. Please work out with the Ministry of Health on the level of personnel required in this facility so that we can work with the Inspector General to make sure there are adequate human resource, doctors, nurses, clinical officers, and all other critical care staff to manage this facility optimally. The border police airstrip is critical to the police work for logistical and operational support, as well as emergency transport to evacuate casualties, insert and extract de deployed tactical units and supply essentials. This form of support is essential for officers working in difficult, distant and volatile areas and can make the difference between success and failure. For this reason, it is important, as I have said, that this airstrip is completed and I undertake that the Ministry of Transport will do the completion and ensure that all necessary navigation equipment is available to make this facility operational. I commend the county government of Kitui for embracing and supporting the development of this campus and by working with our security agencies to ensure that there is a seamless coordination and collaboration between the community and the leadership of this campus. I also thank all partners, local and international, for various forms of support to the Border Police Unit. The U.S. Embassy in particular has provided mobile field hospital, which we just saw here, which have served close to 4,000 people in Kitui and Lamu counties. I salute the National Police Service for undertaking diverse initiatives and building positive relationships with the local community provision of medical services to the public and medical clinics to the locals, as well as the sharing of sports facility with the local population, demonstrate that the service is alive to Article 244 
of our constitution, which calls for fostering and promoting relations and best relations with society. I appreciate the fact that National Police Service is taking advantage of its institutional autonomy to radically improve its professional standards and service delivery while building strong relationships with the public. We are advancing rapidly towards the police service envisaged in our constitution. I also appreciate with gratitude the indispensable role played by our officers and honor the sacrifices of those who have paid the ultimate price in order to keep criminals at bay and to keep Kenyans safe. We will always remember with humility, gratitude, and admiration the ultimate sacrifice of those officers who lost their lives in the line of duty and for the sake of their departed souls will do everything within our power to enhance the welfare and terms of service of all members, including their families. I also recognize the bravery of our border police unit and members of specialized teams, including the Special Operation Group, SOG, and the Advanced Tactical Operations Urban Rural Formation, who continue their admirable work of defending key national interest installations. The government will take the security of the nation and every citizen seriously, and we therefore commit to raise the institutional, professional, and operational cap capacity of the service and make it optimal. We shall sustain our endeavor to complete the turnaround of the National Police Service for the benefit of both our uh, officers and the people of Kenya. As I have said, and uh, you will see in the coming months, we will ensure that we build the institutional capacity, the technical capacity, equipment, and other facilities necessary for our police men and women to be effective, to take charge of their mandate, and to deliver to the people. Also expect the commandant of this college to plant more trees. I think it is only fair, commandant, to use the men and women you have in this compound and those who come in and out to plant more trees around this facility. It will help improve the environmental situation here and it will also serve to better the working environment for those who are training in this facility. Congratulations to uh, the people who have gone through this college. We wish you well in all that you do and you have our un unqualified support as you defend our country, as you keep criminals at bay, and as you keep Kenyans safe. With those many remarks, ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity. Our disciplined forces for standing firm to defend our nation. I want to commit to you that we will respect the independence of the police, the operational independence of the police, the financial independence of our units, for them to discharge their responsibilities without fear, without favor, without bias, so that every Kenyan can enjoy the services of our security men and women. I have already informed the leadership of our police that we do not need them to assist us on matters politics. We have enough lobby groups, we have enough pressure groups, we have enough officials of parties to work with us on matters politics. The only thing that we ask of you is to discharge your mandate and make sure that all Kenyans are safe. 
their property is safe and our country is safe. That's all we ask of you. It is your constitutional mandate and we will do our utmost to support you so that you can discharge your mandate. I also want to single the men and women in our disciplined forces who refused to be recruited into political schemes and machinations in the last general election. I commend you for your professionalism, for your commitment to country, and for being independent of all political and other persuasion. And it is right what you did. Today, much as there is political debate in Kenya, that political debate, though healthy, it is necessary for our friends to know that the servers were open when we all went to the polling station, the IEBC, and our agents. The servers were open when we all were identified biometrically, and each and every one was, of us was given a vote to cast, the servers were open. It is also true that when the counting was done and the results were posted on the portal, the servers were open. It is also true that when the IEBC was tallying results at BOMAS, the servers were open. It is also true that when the matters went for validation in court, the servers were open. It is also true that when the court made a determination of the last general election, the servers were open. To now turn around and pretend that servers to be open at this point in time is to take us for granted, is to believe that there are fools in Kenya. I want to tell our friends that the servers have always been open. They were open during the identification. They were open during the voting. They were open during the posting of the results. They were open during the tallying in bombers. They were open when the results were announced. They were open when the matters went to court. The servers were open when the court determined the election. To now pretend and tell us about servers is an insult to our collective intelligence, is an insult to our democracy. And I will inform you that there is a big shortage of fools in Kenya. And let me, for the record, paraphrase Bob Marley, who said, you can fool all the people sometime, and you can fool some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. So, let us understand one another. Mimi sitaki kusema kuzidi hapo. Nilikuwa tunatambua kazi mulifanya. Kuwa wangwana. Kusimamia taifa letu na usalama. Wakati wote. Na mimi nataka ni waulize muendele na hiyo kazi. The Border Police Unit Hospital. I declare is now officially open. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Asante sana. Asante sana, Mwishmua Daktari William Ruto, ntaomba sote tusimame.
Ni muombe mheshimiwa rais wakati wa kuondoka nikubalie tu